lawyers qualify, they go to the Kenya School of Law, where they are given the skills of the actual practice of the profession outside there. The problem with the health professional is that there is no equivalent institutions where they can get the practical skills of management. They have their academic skills, depending on what their profession is, doctors, pharmacists, nurses. Managing people and managing institutions requires more than academic skills. It requires people to be trained specifically on managing institutions. And that is really a gap that had existed for a long time. We are basically talking about policy development, uh, creating systems for healthcare organizations, and um, ensuring that health organizations are run in a way that are acceptable within the government system and within international standards. The MBA in healthcare management is the only program of MBA in healthcare management in Pan-Africa, as we speak at the moment. We have uh, requirements for this program. Uh, one needs to have uh, an undergraduate, undergraduate degree, and uh, they need to have worked for at least two years' experience, uh, most probably in management position. Uh, we have uh, two categories of programs. We have programs that focus on leadership and others that focus on management. So uh, the leading high-performing healthcare organization is a leadership program that targets senior health executives in the country, those people who are responsible for making decision and policy formulation. Then we also have uh, executive healthcare management. So after you have trained these senior, leader, uh, senior leaders, we now train the middle-level managers. Um, I joined Strathmore Business School in 2011 uh, with their Executive Healthcare Management Program. Um, it was, you know, exciting. It was um, transformational because it made me move, it made me stop thinking about just the discipline of pharmacy, but to the total business unit in pharmacy. And later after that, after that program, I was promoted to, to the sub, support services portfolio. Now, with support services, I needed to know how to manage all these other departments that are there. So I had an option of going to do my MBA in other, other universities. But the kind of teaching that I had in Strathmore was so amazing and the richness of the experience of the whole class is really something that uh, I don't think is available in the country. That's the reason I've come back here. Right from the word go, you could tell that the lecturers, the professors are quite well versed in what they taught. And there was a personal connection between the students and the lecturer and also the case-based methodology that is used in the process of learning during which you uh, discuss real cases in a business environment, in a hospital setup. The programs are designed as a platform for unlocking people's talent. Our teaching method is such that we encourage people to describe their own problems and then working with them to solve their specific problem. The institute is positioning itself to be one of the leading research institutes in the country where we will have people coming to us to benchmark on the research activities that we have carried out, that they may also benefit from it and also that the country will be able to use some of the data that we have gotten from our research activities to be able to better make policies. This is what is unique about Strathmore. The way the administration um, helps you settle down, um, uh, your, the content of what you are learning is sent to you, the way we are using technology to learn. 
the um, having lecturers from other business schools i mean where else in kenya can you really get that the programs we are currently running is just the beginning eventually we want to create two things a strathmore school of global health and also the strathmore school of medicine for quality training of health manager but also quality research for health that informs policy, uh, policy and practice in kenya